Hi, this is Gene Paul of Gene Paul's Corner, My Corner of the World. And for this episode, i-unbox natin yung mga Funko Pops na nakuha natin back in October 2019. Let's go! So, bago tayo tumuloy dun sa mga Funko Pops na nakuha natin back in October 2019, October is the month for NYCC, or Fall Convention Exclusive. So, locally, the Fantastic Corp nag-release some of those exclusives noong October 14 and 15. So, we weren't eyeing anything actually, pero uh, most of the collectors gusto sana makakuha no wanted poster ni Luffy. However, Fantastic wasn't able to get mga pieces. So they didn't have it on the con. So wala silang madis. Although meron silang mga exclusive na ipapakita natin shortly. So on October 14, pumunta tayo sa Gateway 2. Gateway Mall 2. Uh, and we met up with Miss Dina, Sir Ato, si Sir Rodel, si Janik Lo, as well as si Mr. and Miss Marvin and Gracie Guardiola. Uh, we also met up with Nellyville and Miss Amy. And uh, we got this from Tribo Capre. Meron siyang other stickers na galing sa ibang mga tribo ba ito we'll check it out. Pero um, most of this galing sa Capre or from Miss Dina. Ito yung una. Alcohol Chorba. <laughs> Alcohol Spray. May sticker ng Funko. 25 years of fun. And then most of these, of course, lahat na to stickers. So isa isa natin. Ito, we got this from Miss Dina as well. Pero um, this is coming from Tribu Aswang. Thank you. And then we got this as well. Ito naman sa Tribu Tikbala. Yan sa Freddy Tikbala. And then itong mga next would be all coming from Capri. So you have a bunch of ano, exclusive stickers. Pero ito yung ano, pa fall convention exclusive. So, Capra exclusive. 2023 pa fall convention limited edition. So, ganito rin yung sticker ng fall convention. Pero yun, yun naman, pa fall. Pagaling sa Capra. We got six or seven. And then we got this from Tribo Capra as well. Punk of Fanatic Philippines. 10 years of fun. Cigarillo. Si Freddy Capre. And then official Capre logo stickers. May sa reflectorized. May sa sakto lang. Mad. And then lastly, another Capre sticker. The design ito was uh, made or created by Sir Kevin. Of course, um, we visited the booth. Merong Phil Bars doon, merong EPH, and then of course, in Fantastic. Uh, we didn't get any of the exclusive Funko Pops. Ang kinuha lang natin is yung uh, shirt nila pa. And then we'll proceed with the Funko Pops. Funko Philippines. Of course, large. Ang kinuha natin. Bilitin pa rin natin large. Funko Philippines. So welcome to Funko Philippines. What are the signs that you have? I don't know, there are signs on the left city of Funko Philippines. Then uh, later on, we'll um, check out the Fall Convention exclusive. Many release are in offer, if I pass. But we'll proceed with the 2019 October Funko Pops. Uh, we got seven regular size lot siya, pero out of the seven, six for exclusive. And we got it from two different stores. Um, Big Boys, Toy Store, as well as Pillbox. SMR. So, um, as I've mentioned, October is usually the month for NYCC or Fall Convention exclusive. So, the first two we got back in October 5. Uh, ito dalawa exclusive or Fall Convention exclusive that we got from Big Boy's Toy Store. Nag-set up sila ng Fall Convention exclusive release. Yung 2019, it was held at SM Mega Mall. So, we got two uh, of them. Uh, first up is... Oh, pop Animation number 636. 
course from My Hero Academia, si Hero Killer Stain. Ganyan yung stain. Shop exclusive, Fall Convention 2019, Fall Convention Limited Edition. Kasama to sa uh, Wave 2. During that time, 2019, Wave 2 pa lang. Ito ito mga villains. And then, yung kasama niya, or na, yung second na nakuha natin for that day at that convention is this one. Pop Animation number 637 from My Hero Academia. Si Dabi. Same thing. Funko Exclusive 2019 Fall Convention Limited Edition. New York, um, uh, Liberty, and then same thing, so wait, and then again, both we got October 5, it's a big boys toy store, it's a mega mall, and then next we got from Phil Bars SM North, uh, meron tong kwento, actually initially yung nakuha natin, uh, back in October 12, nakuha natin is yung SE version lang, it's a special edition sticker version lang, and then eventually we got the actual US sticker or yung entertainment art exclusive sticker, um, October 29th. So um, this is, so originally we got it October 12th, but this one we got October 29th, so we replaced it and then we named it afterwards. So this is Pop Animation number 596 from My Hero Academia, it's Deku. Ang uh, tawag dito is yung Full Cow. And this is Glow in the Dark from Entertainment Earth. TV or Entertainment Earth exclusive. So, Deku Full Cow. And this is red kasama sa Wave 2. Alright. Then, um, next, nakuha naman natin sa Big Boys Toy Store. Um, this time, back in October 18, sa Green Hills. So, this is Puro MHA. Pop Animation number 5. 65 from my hero academia si Tomura Shigaraki then the sticker niya is uh, big boys toy store exclusive pero US sticker this is galactic toys so i then as the number um, says it is included so wave alright and then yung other three, or yung last three for October, uh, all we got from Phil Bars as in North. And this was back in October 29th, same day na nakuha natin si Entertainment Earth na Deku. So first, ito yung single pop-up na nakuha natin for the month na hindi exclusive. The pop Basketball number 60 from the Dallas Mavericks, Luka Doncic. Ito yung una. Unang variant or iteration ni Luka Doncic. Then the other two, balik tayo sa MHA. <laughs> so this is Pop Animation number 564 from My Hero Academia. Another Deku. Ito naman ang tawag Deku New Post. Then Special Edition sticker. Sa US sticker, this is Hot Top. Right. And last but not the least, for that day and for October, this is Pop Animation number 611 from My Hero Academia, si Mirio Togata. SE, special edition sticker, yung naka uniform lang siya. Siyempre hindi yung nakaubad. And then US sticker, this is Chalice Collectible. Alright, so with that, seven uh, Funko Pops, so go ahead and unbox them, but first, we'll have a short break. Uh, we'll check out the 2023 Fall Convention exclusive releases ng Fantastic Four. Alright, so uh, kung may nakikita kayo ng bago, huwag nyo nang pansinin. Huwag <laughs> nyo nating banggitin. Para lang din yung makita yung fit ng 
bago natin pop tea. Uh, also, um, para may iba lang, uh, we'll start with the last Funko Pop na pinakita natin. Um, aside from that, meron din kasi akong nakalimutang bagitin. Um, so, as I mentioned, um, sa mga naunang mga Funko Pops, galing siya sa Wave 2. Um, this one is coming from Wave 3. Yeah. And also, meron siyang um, a bit of Easter Egg. Uh, kapag binuksan niyo, kung meron kayo ng Mirio Togata, um, yung power niya is or yung quirk niya is a perforation. Uh, meron siyang konting easter egg. Pag binuksan niya siya sa ilalim na siya. <laughs> Ito perforation. Alright. So, then we'll start with him. Uh, who is Mirio Togata. Or si Lemilio. And hindi pa ito yung superhero, uh, naka-superhero costume siya, yung ano lang, yung naka-class uniform siya, second year class uniform. Ulit din ang mo. Then naka-cross yung braso niya. Although meron din siyang variant in the future or pag tagal-tagal, nagkaroon din siya ng variant na suit niya, yung costume niya. And then, meron din siyang variant na glow in the dark. Same mold no superhero costume. Mirio Tagata, or Salimillion. And then, sa collection, this is FP350. Number one hero ng UA High School. Alright. Next is, ito. Si Deku, New Pose. Kompleto yan, yung uh, naka, ano siya, superhero uniform or costume siya, yung kabago. And then yung mask niya, and then sa likod, andun yung, yung hoodie niya. Sinusuot. So, naka, ano ba, naka, ano, mask. Medyo maluwang yun, man. Sobrang luwang. <laughs> Isa sa nakakainis <laughs> sa Deku is, uh, ang dami niyang variant. Yan, dahil kung yung pose, yung meron yung nakaganon, then stuff na pala dami. Then meron yung naka-helmet, or yung nakasuot yung hoodie niya. Or what na. Meron din yung battle damage. And then, sa bagong season, yung dark deco naman, yun yung minatay ng lahat. Pero currently, uh, I think nasa season 4, season 5 pa lang naman, yung mga pakupaks. Then, sa collection, this is FP349. Kasi pababa tayo. Alright. Next naman, yung single Funko Pop na hindi MHA. Si Luca Doncic. Basketball. Red shoes. Mola. Yung uniform ng Dallas. Number 77. Doncic. And of course, kahawig niya rin. And then, meron siya yung Away, yung blue naman. Then, meron din siya for what I remember, blue at saka meron din siya ng green na uniform. Dahil isa siya sa uh, proud favorite of the local dodge. Alright, and sa collection, this is FP3, 40. Next naman, isa sa pinakasti dito sa um, line na to. Pagkakagawa niya. Para nga siyang 5 inch. Hindi na siya uh, 3.5 or 4 inch. So this is Tomura Shigaraki. <laughs> Stick kompleto, kompleto. Pwede na siyang walang stand. However, parang mas, ano lang, mas gumanda lang din. Saka para hindi tumbahin. Kasi nga, um, aside from mabigat yung ulo niya, uh, meron siyang uh, yung extension sa kanya. So ito, kompleto siya sa season 1 or season 2. Kasi yung the latter part, uh, iba na siya. Parang of course, tumanda na siya and stuff. So, mas tumangka din. Hindi na ganyan yung sura niya. Alright, so yung mga hands. Ayaw, nakasilip. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, this is now. There are uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 sa braso niya, tsaka sa kilikili. Ito yung nakaawak sa kilikili. 
and then apat sa ulo niya. Medyo loose yung kasi nagagalaw pero um, naka-permes naman siya. Mag Magbigas naman siya, hindi naman siya tanggalan. Wala lang siya masyado sa gitna. Although pwede mo siyang i- para igit na mo siya, nasa harap na siya ng stand. sa mga actually yung mga pagkakagawa ng mga una sa unang part uh, pagkakagawa ng Funko Pop sa mga villains yun yung magaganda yun yung mga Aztec alright and sa collection this is FP 347 and then yung counterpart niya yung mga bida si Deku ito naman yung Deku na full cow. Ito rin isa sa mga kompleto. Um, same with the new pose. Uh, and then yung mask niya. And then yung boot. Nung tinuruan siya kung paano gamitin yung one for all. Nang work. And then it glows. Uh, if I could remember, tinry na natin sa video na ipakita yung glow niya. So, last episode. So, uh, past episode. Okay, and sa collection, this is FP346. Alright, and then the last two, which is yung nakuha natin sa fall convention. Uh, two of those um, villains na astig yung itura. So we'll start with si Dabi. Ngayong base na yun, apoy. So I think this scene, the pose na to, um, was coming from yung kung sino training sila sa malaki. Um, ngayon ko lang na notice, parang nag, parang kulang siya ng ano, piraso, eh, kulang siya ng buhok. Parang may uha siya. Yan. Anyways, so this Dabi, Fall Convention exclusive. Um, astig yung flames niya, yung blue flames niya, yung trench coat. Uh, major color uh, violet yung black na uh, pants niya white shirt and then yung pagkakagawa nung parang tinape na jaw niya Ayan. kasi sa anime um, yun na lang yung natira dun sa site kung saan siya nag-explode or nag-flames na yun natira kala nila napatay na spoiler <laughs> kala nila na uh, namatay na siya si Toya Dabby. And the collection, this is FP345. Then, lastly, the Pangastic, na may extensions pa, <laughs> what not. Yeah. Which is the Stain, or the Hero Killer Stain. And Dila niya, kasi yung quirk niya is, uh, kapag na in ingest niya, nakapag ingest siya ng dugo nung pinakalaban niya, or dugo ng kung sino man. Uh, kaya niyang patigilin. Hindi naman uh, as to, con to control the body, pero patigilin yung pagkilos. Uh, yun din yung reason kung bakit yung gamit niya is blades. Para syempre masugatan. Then, meron siyang knife. Crooked knife. Niya. O jacket knife. Medyo, uh, medyo yung espada niya luma na. Kaya siya uh, yung pashmina niya. Pashmina. habang tela sa leg and then yung ano naman yan yung excess na tela sa mask niya and then anime hair stick and then yung posing niya magpa frog leap siya or naka crouch A lot of details on this one. Alright. And so collection, this is FP344. Um, back in years ago, uh, when these two were released, 
and then afterwards nung medyo huminog sila uh, actually umabot pa sila sa uh, higher ups mga 100 plus and stuff especially yung mga NYCC variants nila or yung sticker nila uh, although um, parehas lang naman siya ng figure ng pop pero of course in regards to the value or the trending values nila mas mataas yung con sticker instead of or compared to sa mga shared exclusives na. Currently, if I could remember, nasa higher ups pa yung mga NYCC niya. Pero yung shared is at uh, ngayon less than 100 na lang. Ito bumagsak siya. Ito, nandun ba siya siguro nasa 80 or 190. Alright. So, with that being said, so the 7 pump pop ups we'll go ahead and do a paikot boxed and unboxed. We'll also do a comment shout out from the previous episode and the thank you portion for this one. Let's go! Janik Lo, shout out sa'yo. Maraming salamat sa suporta. Okay, so again, maraming maraming salamat sa mga sumusuporta sa akin at sa channel, sa mga nanonood ng mga videos, sa mga nagko-comment, sa mga nagla-like, sa mga nag-dislikes, and most specially dito sa mga Corner Crew members na walang sawang sumusuporta sa akin at sa channel. So, thank you very much for all of your support. Um, tapos na tayo ng October 2019. So, um, two months na lang. And then, we'll be able to unbox these yeah, 2020. Yeah. And then, we'll try to replace yung mga nandyan with the Funko Pop Rides. Kasi Funko Pop Rides yung mga gusto ko nandyan. Uh, so, unti-unti yung mga wala. Alright, so, um, we still have two months. Yeah. So, marami pang time na makikita niya sa background. And also, two months from now, yung Christmas party, which is gonna be held on December 9th sa Metro 10th. So, we'll go ahead and cover that as well. So, hopefully, by then, medyo naka-alpas-alpas na tayo sa mga background. Alright, so I'll leave you with that. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Do whatever makes you happy as long as you don't step on other people's happiness. Thank you very much for watching, and have a wonderful day. Bye!
na ba? So, ang nanalo dito sa episode nito is My Villain.